box cover. This is Dutty Bear, and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media count down. <gasps> yes, once again, I always say it has been a while. People, um, let me just like to talk. Like, people don't understand. But to do a social media countdown, it takes a whole heap out of me. It's like, I think for the most part, I put my all, my 100% Dutty Bear in it. And every now and then, I actually have like anxiety where. <sighs> I don't know. It, it, it's like my brain will find an excuse not to do it, and it will literally have the energy for do everything else in the world. I will go cook, clean, wash everything. I will go and create a cure for every single thing on this earth, except from actually mentally be able to go through this countdown. It's one of the weirdest things, and um, funny enough, being on this tour, well, um, you know, put together by Patrice, Patrice Wright, the mental health awareness tour, where we go to different schools and kind of help the, the, the teenagers actually talk about anxiety, stress, um, all kind of issues that they may be having and you know it, 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 it has allowed me to even look at my own self and assess my own situation and realize say yeah I'm a little bit I am quite anxious as you know with, with whole heap of things but you know I'll keep you updated on that because I'll try to sort out my own issues and I can only implore you to go and make sure say yeah address whatever issues you might feel have go to a professional talk to somebody and see if you can get the necessary help Anyway, enough of my, my little drama. Let's get into the top 10 countdown. The dirty the berry, yeah, the juicy of the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the countdown coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover. I'm cover all the topics like an evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender. All them suck me, I will have me now the week. Yo, just tune in, zine. Number 10, the Adele breakup. Me gungo peas. So you know, say pop star R&B sensation Miss Adele has broken up with her boyfriend for seven years, um, Simon Kaneki. And boy, I don't think nobody is disappointed. Nobody is regretting this breakup because what everybody is focusing on is the fact that her next album, which we named 30 because Adele says so she only put out an album every five years. Why? What a life she have Where she can decide says every five years she can put out one album. So one album, the name like 21. Ah, so? I should have one 19 and then 21. And then my girl just jump and say, yo... 25, then the next one I gotta be 30, then she gotta have one name 35, then the next one I gotta be 40. As Sophia thing said. Anyhow, she and Simon break up after seven years of being together. No, me kind of personally feel say how I'm planting this. But feel like say, the only reason why Adele did go marry the brother, yeah? I saw she can't have like her heart take and pain ahead of her next album. Because the timing, it just come in the right amount of time where she can go into the studio, write some songs, and then put out one video for release just in time for when she's 30. I feel like it's a planting. I feel like she only did a use Simon just so she can get some material all the time. And as she, and as she alone stays so Taylor Swift stay the same way as the same thing Taylor Swift used to do with Fiara Trailer Loader Man them. Mm. <laughs> but let me know people, do you feel bad? Are you e as excited as I am thinking about how this album like, Never mind, I'll find someone like, yeah, because we don't want to hear Adele in love. Nobody wants to hear Adele in love. We want Adele sad like Mary J. Blige. Can you imagine she and Mary J. Blige and, and, and Keisha Cole and Brandy and Monica still in our studio? And just a talk about them heartache and pain and suffering. Can you imagine how fire that collaboration going to hard be? <laughs> Let me know what you thought about the Adele breakup people. Comment down below. We could have had it first. Number nine, Sean Jr. Miroli Polioli. So you know, sir, one of my favorite big artists of all time is the legendary Mr. Dotty Cup, Mr. Sean Paul. No, you know him of him son Wadi. Um I boy, I can't believe I forget the son name. Jesus P, I cannot believe I have forget Sean Paul's son name. Oh big up. <laughs> No. No. But Henty who? So he posted this video on Instagram recently with, with, with his son actually kind of mimicking his flow, his delivery, his dance move and whole entire stage presence. Check it out. And as if this wasn't enough, Sean Paul Jr. decided to know he's going to show how his father actually deal with stage. He's going to step away and show the whole entire dance move free. Good morning. Hello. 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 <laughs> Let me 
know, Veritas, what did you think of this video? Do you think that um, he got it perfectly, his dad's own original style? Comment down below. Number eight, Shante Skyers. My word, my sentence, my paragraph. No, this story. I do. I honestly do not like to talk about things like this because it makes me just not want to love Jamaica as much as I know I ought to. No, this story, it, it rocked the entire nation. So this little eight-year-old girl by the name of Shante. So she leave out her house um, in Sterling Heights Castle and head into our school, which is Red Hills Primary School. Zine, apparently we ended up fall, so she had to make her way to school. And at some point, she was missing. People set out a search, the whole entire community got involved looking for this little girl only for a few days later for her body, you know, her, her, her lifeless body to be found um, in, the, in, the, in the midst of some garbage heap. Now, this isn't the first something like this has happened in Jamaica. Sad, it is not the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. You, 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 you can name a, a bunch of them. Remember, incidents like this started, especially when, you know, we had to come up with um, the Ananda Alert system in place. I am disgusted. I, I, I honestly, it is, it is one of these things that you cannot believe that in 2019, Jamaica, the place that you'd hope say, at least they'd be protecting women, be protecting minors, be pr protecting the elderly, something like this can happen. You wonder what is happening in the mind of a person where they will look to harm a, a little eight-year-old girl. What could she have done? What is it? This is better me here say it was some animal with leg leg out of hope zoo or something, but to find out that another human being could do something to an innocent eight-year-old girl? It's not going to make any sense. I do not want to hear that this man have a, or man or woman had some mental issues because it, nothing can bring back this, this little girl's life. And then some days later, you hear that the, the residents now, you know, decided to take the matters into their own hand and, and, and burn somebody to, to death. No, I don't know if this person was a, is, is this definitely responsible, but that isn't even a good solution either. Because at the end of the day, Shante's mother is the one that is grieving and father. Them don't have them like an eight-year-old girl. want any more of this to happen. We don't want anyone that is possibly innocent for you to take their life. We have to be very careful about the people that we let into our communities because who knows if it's just somebody who they are passed to the community, see a situation like that, like that and run in. But RIP Shanti and I, I can only pray for your family and loved one strength because this is something where... It, let me know if you thought about this, um, Burritos, and if you have any solutions, just share it down below, okay? And now check out the random video of the week. Big man, you really sick, me. Tell me the truth. I wear your kuda, sip on a pit, me. Open on the eyes and no look deep with me, cause them closer than your brother. Them can't trick me. Jamaicans, we should all stand up. And if you want this for end, make me see your hands up. If you have some information, you have to start talk up. Now wait till the liquor island get blood up. It is all our duty for protect the future. Them are gonna be with nurses and doctor. Give them the love, guidance, and nurture. Put a stop to this, now make it go further. Send up some prayers for Shante Skyers. Number seven, Dalton versus Mom. Woo! Oh gosh, make on flakes. So this story, you know, it's an ongoing story. It has been going on, it has hard been going on since Dalton was in the competition, the UK's X Factor. So, apparently, Dalton visited, you know, Jamaica um, recently, and he went to his community. And apparently, he walked on the exact street that his mother um, resides and did not have communication with her. So, once again, she took to the media and shared her, her, her issues with that. Here's what the article said. Sylvia Campbell, the mother of X Factor UK winner Dalton Harris, says she is feeling very bad that her son, who recently returned to Jamaica, visited their hometown but passed her on the road as if he didn't see her. Added to Campbell's pain is the fact that her son came to Jamaica on her birthday, but he never called. I felt very bad, so bad that I cried, said Mrs. Campbell. I heard that Dalton was coming on Wednesday and then on the Saturday, somebody came and told me that Dalton was in the community. I was so nervous and weak when I heard. Wow, then this is what Dalton took to social media and said. When I was nobody and I was living with strangers, no one used to call and ask if I was alive or if I had eaten. But now it stresses you out that I stay away from you and the trauma seems a bit opportunistic. If I was broke and still nothing like you, and still nothing, like you treated me, would I still be such an important thing? This right here is why I stay away because it's always something negative. You don't get to play with people's hearts and minds, regardless of your title. I am human just like you and just like you, my life is not owed. I have the title too. I am a son and I could have demanded protection and love and care and acceptance from you, but I didn't. Even though none of these things were never showed. 
So I don't hate you, I just don't want to be around you. It is going to take time to heal and the mother have to understand that. And Dalton, he might do, he might do for this moment, but just know that at the end of the day, you never know, you might have to find some sort of common ground where the two and can coexist. But this stage is a stage and it, ne it, it is necessary and it has to pass because I just saw people heal. You can't heal while you're in the midst of all of this um, pain. You have to give for some time for you just kind of cool, cool down and relax and then maybe you can bring back things to the drawing board so that you can have dialogue once more. But let us know what you thought about this, Berita's. Comment down below. Number six, Celebrity Sports Day. Me hula hoop. So I do not know about you, but when it comes to sports day in Jamaica, every single entertainer, every single public figure decides that they're going to rush out to school to go and cheer on them half spring. <laughs> Come like say once you are an entertainer, you're just destined to win. Once you are a celebrity, you have to win, and you're picking them after win. Like minutes nobody put up them picking come last. Come Cali, come Cali, come Cali, come Cali. Cali. No man for one day is like nobody come last. Once you are a celebrity, you're just not come last. Yes, 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 Then in one of the most unfair matches, so you have Shelly and Fraser Price, Shelly and Fraser Price, and our husband representing for them Pitney at Sports Day. She declined to run, but our husband had come in and walk away with the winnings. Three. Set. Go. Go, Jessica! Go, Jessica! But yes, people, let me know what you thought about these celebrity um, sports day moments. Comment down below. Number five, Dovey, brand new. Miss New Peas. So Dovey Magnum, you know the woman who sing the song Ball Out. Yeah, give me everything you want, me sugar daddy. So sometime ago, people, they kind of come fair because our teeth never too, you know, um, they kind of, you know, one like a situation that go on there. So, so the people that used to want teeth are uncomfy about our, about our teeth. But it look like, said Dovey, they listen to everybody. And she did take time and save up our funds, accumulate up a little money. So she can do a little thing like Cardi B and get that bag and fix our teeth. And let y'all hoes know that it ain't cheap. Cause pre home Dovey took the social media kind of subtly showing off the dentures. I just hold my blessing, you know? What you know? Ba, 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 ba. Yes, Dovey, show the people them some money around. Show the people them so them can't snuggle about your teeth after this. But no, you know, Jamaican people stay boy, they're gonna find something else. They probably have to start talking about your knuckles, them about your, about your neck back, they're gonna find something else to bring it down. But yeah, we're not going to do the whole entire thing where you go back to back and try to change everything. Let the haters them just like go all like a pill and chuck off. Okay, Dovey? Let us know what you thought about Dovey's new teeth, people. Comment down below. Number four, me nervous. The other day, I'm gonna scroll past Instagram and I saw this video. Um, apparently, this is some type of. Well, let me not say R. Kelly. Some sort of series. Kind of like when you have R. Kelly trapped in the closet. And so this is basically a like a burning situation. And them split up in a different parts. Where um, this brother by the name of Dana Royal. Um, you can follow him down here. So team up with China K. You know, China K, China K from Animal Mind series. And the big bad actor, Mr. Kadim Wilson. A.K. Kenzik for make. Oh, and Triple X as well. For create this nice little series of Instagram events. <laughs> Pre. Yo, who that? Your yeah, man? Where you mean your man? Where the hell him come from? Shit, him come home very early. Well, me flying just like a birdie. Me no know, but I just need for left. Left how? Babies like a death. Me the side man, me's not a ref. So me now go fight now a reality check. If him ever come to you, two are we dead. Just listen me, I hide underneath the bed. Under the bed, <laughs> me good as dead. Better me just walk out, you sick in your head. Me know me should trust you, you know. Granny tell me she fussy, you know. You eat one cross, it would have cost you, you know. Me nervous, me nervous. Lord God, hear the door and knock. Babes open up, the sun is hot. Me turn up there in a the one theater shock. This little girl want me to get shot. When my brief there, when my shirt there, when my pants there. Lord God, me nervous. Me nervous. Me nervous. Nervous, nervous, nervous. <laughs> And yes, then they also drop the part two. 
Baby, you come home quick. You had to leave work out feeling sick. You want to eat Nyquil or Vix? No, actually, that was a trick. So I could have leave work cause I want one kiss. I kiss so I can't kiss my girlfriend again. But I'm like surprise every now and then. All right. I have an hour. Card, chocolate, condom, flowers. My youth, you know, see me a call. Phone a ring, no answer. I don't like you at all. I don't say miss call, dog. What you want? Talk quick cause I will hang up, dog. My youth, things look dread. If you hang up, dog, I just good as dead. But they are Kim Yara, lead on under bed. So comment down below and tell us if you did enjoy the video as well as to follow all of the people in my part of the video right here. So, okay, follow them, follow them, follow them. Right about now, it's time for well the big up segment. Well done. Done. Before the girls them sexy and loud. Run, run, sing along. Well then, pick up the pronoun. Okay, so first up, I forgot to pick up this lovely lady by the name of Tia. I, I interviewed her some time ago and she spoke to me about the release of her new single and music video um, called Overdue. Check that out. All right, so now I'm here with Tia Music. She's in the island for about two weeks. Yes. For about two weeks to promote um, One Bag of Things. Me here say you have, a, you have a song which is on the same rhythm um, with Chris Forman and Wally for other yes. top reggae names. Right. Talk to us about that. Um, so the rhythm is called Dual Citizen mm -hmm. and it's produced by Troy Ten Music. Okay, I'm familiar and with Troy Ten. Mm -hmm. Yes, Troy Ten, I don't know who she get to. Yeah, okay. Overdue, two of us together way overdue. Friends want to make me get over you. Couldn't walk away if I wanted to. So that's it for Tia people. Make sure so you go and follow her and check out the music video. The link is going to be in the description down here. So, mm-hmm. I know I saw more, I forgot to big up myself because I want to show you a little bit of what I have been doing. The other day I was invited to the website launch the, of the political ombudsman um, in Kingston and this is how that went. Check it out. I know some of you would have seen one of the Jamaican stars in the room already, um, commonly called... His name is Mr. Rushane Mary. <laughs> I know you're going to have plenty of picture taken because all of these are your fans and all of us will become your fans. Thank you. <laughs> And yes, also have to big up Patrice White on the Dynamic Mental Health School Tour. Now, this is basically where we're going to high schools and talk to them about issues um, pertaining to mental health and how they can deal with it. All of we love him. We watch him all the time. We put our notifications to him. We have a pool. We see my wife all of the time. I want you to start to make some noise right now for the man who is on the street, the man who everybody can relate to. His name is Dusty. How can I forget me? I forgot to tell you, no, I'm a part of this Game, Game of Thrones spoiler alert competition um, that is powered by Supreme Ventures. <laughs> Box cover! So, Supreme Ventures have a competition called Spoiler Alert, where basically what you as the fans them have to do is to just submit a video predicting the ending of each episode leading up to the season finale. And then when you finish, you post the video online with the hashtag CivilGotsa, hashtag SVLGOT. SA. It's simple though. And bear in mind that there are other rules for the competition, you know, but I can't bother list out the one of them right now. So we're going to put them in the description down here. Or so, I will be doing weekly reviews of Game of Thrones and shall be including some of the best, goodish, and most interesting video submissions. My prediction for season 8, episode 1. I don't think a lot will be happening since it's the first episode, however, I think it's still going to be exciting because I think in this episode, John might find out that he's actually not a bastard and he's a target. Yes, so not only can you be featured here on my show, but you could win an amazing party pack filled with viewing party goodies courtesy of the new Supreme Games app and delivered to you by Mail Pack Local right in time for the next episode. Plus, you get exclusive GOT merchandise. Mm. Make sure it's an enter. Because on Tuesday, I'm going to do my next um, review video and make sure I say you are included in it as well. And also, I forgot big up Calypso Rose on being the oldest person to perform at 
Coachella, 78 years old, old but don't cold. Big up yourself, Calypso Rose. Hey, then, what I'm going to talk about represent for Dutty Bear Cold now, man. We're not going to talk about it, okay? You know the thing, go. We're not going to use IP to get with the thing. Come back home to your girl, man. Let's go through the window. Me blue soap. So, me the part of Instagram, I'm going to scroll and mind my business, you know, people. When out of nowhere, I saw this picture. This picture. So, same time, me I say, no, man. This is not the world, boss. So, who the person here? Cartel have somebody a standing fee, a filling fee, because this is not the cartel. This is not cartel. I don't know who this is. This is some part time Adi, bootleg Adi. This is not Adi Japama. Who is this? Send them back. But feel like the cartel, they just have this person a filling fee while him, they probably they're out of the road and they're studio, right? So, but then, I actually stop. And I go stop. I say, yo. He's been, been released out of, out, out of prison for a bit because of some health condition. And this might actually be serious. It might be a thing. May I say it might be a thyroid issue. And you know, so once you, you have these sort of things, the body, the features of the body, you know, can sometimes change. If you think about Wendy Williams in terms of how she always talk about, she have like issues with her thyroid as well. And her eyes sometimes kind of pulp out a little bit. And that is what, it looks like that um, when you look at the new cartel pictures. I... I, 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 I don't know if it is that you, you only wish him the best of health. But when you look into the comments when the images was posted, every single person was saying, no man, I can't cartel that. This is not cartel. People refuse to acknowledge that this could be cartel because I guess it's just very hard. You used to see cartel in M shades and all of these things and to see cartel actually growing older and in features they might change like this because of whatever health condition. It, 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 it yeah, it, it's, it's not an easy thing to digest for many Gaza fans. So let us know when you talk about the pictures. Do you believe that it's actually cartel? Do you know what might be happening to him? What are your thoughts, people? Comment down below. I know it is time for the second random video of the week. Number two, Raigin Vocab. Me Almanac, Mr. Social Media, Mr. Raigin King. You know, say him very viral because of his very interesting take on words, the lexicon. Um, and boy, oh boy. So he went to Canada recently for an interview with GView TV. And they actually asked him about his viral moments. And this is what he had to say. Check it out. I wasn't a dunce kid at school. I was a brand kid as always, you know. Look, look, look at and, this. Um, look at this. Being so, the fact that I fell out at school and green. <laughs> them video. I mean, I want to make them video. I know we need to see all them like you tell me make them video and they say, oh, God, no, I need, need to go on some form of promotion um, payment. Cause, you know, it's working. Whatever they do, it will work. It's <laughs> good. It's, it's good. Like that it, yeah, it's good that it doesn't. It didn't break your vibes or anything. Oh, no, man. It could break your. It could break your vibes. No, or if you break your vibes, where? So. Was a tough right now. Think about it. So it, it, it um, I guess it seems as if he might take it in strides. He's kind of finding the humor in it. Him not really take it too serious. Him kind of understands that I just part of the social media game. And yeah, I don't know if he explained himself too well when he was asked this question of why I'm referring to him squad as like the, the dunce people them or something like that. Pre. Yeah, when we say fully dunce camp, you know, it's just like I always be here, you know. I would be here. You understand? It's not like say who. Oh, we are part of one set of illiterate thugs. No, yo. We don't know what we are doing already. Remember, say, yo, we, 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 are do, we, are do some, we are do some big things out here, you know. In a dance hall, not just dance hall, but we are making a name in a the industry. You understand? But worldwide, mm -hmm. you know. Dance people can do that, bro. Then there was people who didn't make fun because the man said, um, instead of say clash, him says clash. If my fans them, who they want me to clash? I don't um, believe my fans are going to clash. Yes, God. Well, I guess him just kind of can't join the word. You have sound clash, just clash. You get me? Just like, oh, yeah, chilling and relaxing. Chillaxing. Nothing wrong with that kind of own word, you are ragging king. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think of ragging king's interesting take on vocabulary. Comment down below. And number one goes to. <laughs> Mackerel moments! Woo! My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my biblioteca. So, oh my gosh, I think everybody in Jamaica know who Mackerel is right about now. She is legit a household name, like in, like boy, but she was a household name for a long time. Because, yeah, Mackerel. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, <laughs> you know, so the other day when I talked to my friend, and my friend I tell me, say, you know, so Mackerel is also called Dutty Girl. 
And I was just like, wow. Can somebody really tell me why originally Jamaican people they refer to mackerel, like tin mackerel, as dirty girl? Because I just try, I just try to put some stuff together and try to understand some things right about now. Because, yeah. But anywho, so now, um, mackerel appeared once again, you know, to go viral again because she went to Bad Boy Strivers, a nightclub called Lucky 38, and she was asked the question, who in a Jamaica she set her eyes on? Who should I want for tech? Tell me all your money, you want tech now. You want tech, Trevor? Yeah. You want tech, Trevor? Yeah. Yeah. You want tech, Trevor? 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 Yeah. So yes, my girl cut up on Peter Phillips, she said Romish and Damian Crawford. So clearly we know she have a thing for PNP people. Peter Phillips and Damian Crawford had Romish like, boy, Mackerel, you could have asked Romish your manager. Jesus Christ, make up yourself though, Mackerel. So Mackerel's mother went to social media to talk about her concerns and her views on Mackerel um, having her brand revolve around taking man. This is what she had to say. Like any good mother, I want her to be professional. Taking people man, people's man is not professional. And I don't care what people want to say. At the end of the day, she is missing out. She is mashing up her life and self. And whatever she might tell her grandchildren, when if she if and when she gets them. Because if you know this has a grandchildren because she has a child. Mm -hmm. So we have to be mindful that one day this fame will be over and it's over in a in a minute mm -hmm. and where is her talent it's not like me it's, she can't say like me who sits and writes songs who has a level of amount of education so i would want her to well well i mean it was only a matter of time you know, from Mackerel boss me I wonder when Mackerel family are going to jump in because nobody really know the full back story and you know that this girl has a story. I feel like Mackerel has such a strong and powerful story that any day this girl decides that she's going to become like some motivational speaker. Book, book right, movie make. Every school she they talk to young people like if she gets to that point where she's able to just like step outside of herself and reflect on the journey that she has had and how powerful that message might be to her peers. And to this young demographic, wow, wow, because everybody I laugh with mackerel right about now, you know. But I feel beyond that is a whole heap of pain. And this moment what that girl have in a fair life right now is probably the most she's ever felt valued and needed. And so as much as you can joke about it, you don't know what that feel like when you come from a place where you have never really been sought after like that. And so like, I only hope so. I should continue to forget her little money and do her little hustling that she's growing and learning and watching the people who are around her and see how them treat her when she's probably the hottest social media thing and probably two months later when she's not so hot. So let me know what you think about the whole entire mackerel situation and the facts of Chicago, call out them where she want date. Comment down below. Well, that is it, people. Thank you so much for watching another Dutty Berry social media top 10 countdown. I promise you, I will not delay with the rest of countdowns them. Make sure to say if you enjoyed it, you hit the thumbs up button, people. Big up the people them who is watching this live right about now. Big up yourself. Yes, you stay good. Big up the Jenna. Big up all of the people who are just on Saka Saka the whole entire weekend. <laughs> I need to stop this and I need to stop this. But yeah, leave a comment. I love when you leave a comment. Share the video so other people can see. Tell a friend about the Dutty Berry social media countdown so that they can follow and subscribe to my channel. If you want to book me for any event that you have, please email me. My information will be down in this, this description. Or you can just shoot me a message to DuttyBerryShow at gmail.com. As well, follow me on social media on Twitter. Especially, so while me I watch Game of Thrones, me can interact with you. It is at Dutty Bear Show on Twitter. Me I beg you know, follow me on Twitter because I want to talk and I'd interact with you. I'm, a very, I'm much more responsive on Twitter than anywhere else, okay? And on Instagram, it is at Dutty Bear Show as well. Anyway, people, that's enough for me and my chatting. Take care until next time. <laughs> Dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you feel tuning to the youth, like.